up YouTube? Um, this is gonna be Swag Crew's first YouTube video ever. Um, there will be three of us, but right now there's only two: me and my friend the cameraman. Uh, Yo. Canadian. Um, first of all, I want to say something to YouTube. Um, I'm blind, like, totally blind. I can't see. I use Braille and everything. But before you like not watch this video. I can do almost anything a sighted person can do, so don't hate. I have an Xbox 360 right here. Um, right here, I got all the games, controllers, whatever. I got an Xbox Live. Um, yes, and on to the main point of this video. I'm going to show you how I take care of my now monitor, Scorch. I didn't have Scorch because after the love gets in Gears of War 2, because that guy's like viciously crazy. And so is this. This guy's crazy, too. He's like a beast. You might want to turn on the lights so they can see it. So, we need more lighting, so I'm going to turn on the heat on it. So this, this is just my basic housing right now. He's oh, hold on, where is he? Uh, like, oh, look, there he is. He's, this is like a 20 gallon long for him. You guys want to see it. I saw this video because this cage was not meant to house a non monitor. Um, th this cage was used before by my turtle, but I switched him out and I. Um, decided to pick up a non monitor and this is the only cage I had on hand because I didn't have the money to go to the larger tank, so I used this one. Uh, yeah, and I, I have my heat lamp right here. Right here. It's a 75 watt heat bulb. Heat is it UVB? No, I don't have a UVB yet. I was planning to get one. And, um, now I'm going to talk about how what we eat. his diet. He eats eggs, crickets. If you want to feed them crickets, you you have to like dust it with these. Right here. And those are fluffers, calcium, and vitamin D three. Nice. And then he also eats rats. I mean mice like this. Ready for this? <laughs> Arctic mice Arctic. in the house, y'all. In the house, y'all. There you Arctic go. Arctic mice. <laughs> See, this is how it looks like inside. It's, they're like frozen mice. Frozen. Ugh, how disgusting. They're really disgusting, but whatever. He loves them. He eats them. Like. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm going to show you the inside of this cage right now. And when you, just remember, if you, if you plan to get one of these non monitors, they can get up to six feet or more. And they're pretty damn big. Um, and make sure, if you do get one, make sure you have a large water dish you can swim in. Because they are part of aquatic. And you see inside my cage. My friend will show you inside my fish. There you go. It's um, half land, half aquatic. Because um, he, the, it's I'm sure right here is play sand. Here's the water area. I separated with these rocks right here. I'm not sure you guys can see that, but my friend will see, see those rocks. And here, and I just put it for a decoration. They're right somewhat here. blending in with the sand. And um, for decoration, I have this and I have this log right here. It's his basking log, but he's kind of big for it. But, um, you can see he's right here in the water. I'm going to see if I can pick him up to show you guys. He's Let's see if he doesn't whip at you this time. He's about two feet right here. I'm going to back away a little bit. He's like that big. Where's his face? Oh, there it is. He d he really doesn't like being handled, so I'm going to put him down gently. Here's, you, oh, sure, facing first. <laughs> you can see his tail right here. He's a fat lizard. He eats really good. He's a good eater. See that? His tail. He's a two footer. Um, that's Scorch. Right here. Um, here. To see, see if I can see his face. Oh, this one. This one. Oh, oh. Not doing it. Let him go. Let him go. I can get it right here. He does like being manhandled. Oh, there's his face. Ah, tongue. Here's the tongue. <laughs> so yeah, um, you, you guys consider getting one, just remember. As you can see, bubbles coming up with the water. <laughs> they're pretty aggressive. They're not aggressive to be mean. It's just born in them. They're not monitors. So if you do get one, you have to work and tame it. Don't listen to people who say you can't tame these guys because you could. So I'm saying, how do you tame them? How I tame a non monitor? Every now and then. It's kind of crazy though. If I had a chance, there's the seven methods I do. First, I'll just touch them like this in a cage, just pet them. One, and the second thing I'll do is I'll sleep with them. I'll have them in my bed next to me, and they'll get used to me being next to them a lot. And it's 
Yeah, it's really flexible. <laughs> it's flexible. Guys. And the second thing is, I do the bat bathtub team thing. Well, I sit in the bathtub with them, with running water because they are part aquatic. And I have my shorts on. I'm not gonna have my balls hanging out. This guy will take it off for sure. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and um, you and be careful. They do have a strong bite. This guy hit me once when I got him. You still the have the mark right here. I'm not sure you guys can see that, but it's still there. Oh, yeah, there see it is. fang marks? Right it's here. like right there. Right here, fang marks. Oh, there it is, there it is, right there. Yeah, and um, where I got this guy, I got it from Triple Little Reptiles. Okay. Awesome. Okay. awesome. And that's just my dog came for you. Here she Lazy dog. He's a lazy dog. And that's it about my non monitors. Yeah, you might want to put the uh, Xbox 360 back up. Yeah. So that's all about my non monitors. So YouTube, comment, rate, subscribe. And peace out. And I'll make more videos. I have other reptiles. And before we go, I want to have a shout out to Nick Steel Black, Jeff Evans 13. Those guys are like really cool because Jeff ain't got all those crazy mm -hmm. snakes and the condoms, Burmese python, and all that good shit. And Nick Steel Black used to have Zarb. The non-wonder, that one made me want to this guy. So yeah, peace out.